special treats for you tonight. They don't know this, but they're going to have to do it because I'm making the announcement. Craig Turner will draw Mr. Polar characters for anyone who wants them. You don't know who Mr. Polar is, you will after you see his drawing. And Jim Wood has promised to answer the riddle of the ages to find out what's the difference between roast beef and pea soup. So you can ask Jim, he can tell you those very same things. Now you all know I couldn't have done what I did with the class of 78. I know there's a bunch of classes here, but my job was the class of 78. And I couldn't have done that without the help of Judy DeLeo, who was here five, five years ago. Judy DeLeo, Greg Lacey and I spent countless hours trying to track you people down. And I got the same answer every time I called every one of you. Tim who? This year, we did have a little extra help from people. Ruben Watson, for one, helped us locate some people. Ellen Beausoleil really helped people motivate here, get them here. And I'd just like to tell Ellen, you've always been and you always will be my best friend, even though pretty much you have no clue as to who I am. <laughs> Ellen and I grew up, as the crow flies, about a half mile apart. We now live about a half mile apart. If I didn't say my name when I got on this stage, still wouldn't know who I am. Oh, and on a, on a secondary note, to all the women who I stalked in high school, not going to do that anymore. Bad news for the women on the uh, reunion committee. You, I'm still stalking. Have you seen the women on the reunion committee? You never believe that they're all over, and I'll never believe. Now, before I introduce the big kahuna, the godfather of reunions, the hardest working man in the Hudson Valley, the man who recently told me that the Brady Bunch was not a reality show, I just want to say so long, thanks for all the fish, and have a great time. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim Sheehan. I'm not going to sign your yearbook. No, not that one. Thank you, Tim, for that most kind introduction. I can only tell you that I hope to be not nearly as kind in your kind. Sure. A couple of announcements. First and foremost, uh, thank you all for coming. We also uh, want to make sure that you know that we have a photographer here tonight, uh, Rich Stecker from the Class of 76. He's given us a very uh, great deal on his personal time here tonight. He's going to be walking around taking some candid shots, take your table shots if you want. You can go into the studio, they're right behind us. You can pose with your friends, family, brothers, sisters, etc. Pictures you want are the pictures you can buy. You have no obligation, obviously, to buy them, but he's here, ready and willing to take your photos. So anybody that wants to get together, can go right back there and do it. The other thing is, what we'll have back there too, so that while you're waiting for your pictures, we have the program that we did at the last reunion for 76 and 77, that was five years ago. That'll be running on a loop with a little uh, narration. So obviously, if you didn't get a chance to make that reunion, or you want to know what was done there at that time, you have an opportunity to take a peek at that. Also wanted to take an opportunity to thank some of the folks who are on the reunion committee. First and foremost, the guy that did the uh, invitations for us and has done it for a long time, Steve Close. Steve, are you here? There he is. Steve, thank you. I also want to thank the other members of the reunion committee. Obviously, you heard from the not-so-big kahuna, Tim Gunther, or he came up. We have from the class of 76, Judy Vernachek Isley. Judy, could you stand? Come on. Walter from 76, Linda Pastner. Linda, please. 
From 77, Sharon Houston Welter. Also, wanted to thank Judy Russell, who helped 76 get a lot of names. Thank you. One thing that I want to do uh, first before we continue, and we're not going to be that long, I'll be done in an hour, maybe. Um, that is, there are people here uh, tonight who are not here with us. That makes sense to me. They're not here, we've lost them since the time that we graduated. Faculty members, administrators. I know that uh, just in the past year, Bob Schreiber passed away. Um, there are classmates who are no longer with us. There are people here tonight who have recently lost loved ones. So perhaps before we continue, if we could just take a moment of silence to uh, have some nice thoughts about those folks. <laughs> 